Ensuring food safety is important for all countries, including Singapore. Ensuring safe food for all gives confidence to our people that the food they buy is safe to eat. To do so, Singapore put in place an effective integrated food safety system from farm to fork, including robust regulatory controls. This system is guided by science-based risk assessment and is consistent with international standards. Because we import over 90% of our food, we work closely with other countries as well as international bodies such as FAO and Codex to ensure the safety of our food. However, ensuring food safety is not the work of the government alone. Food safety is a joint responsibility. It is important that our food industry and consumers play their part to ensure that the food we eat in Singapore is safe. Singapore has made significant strides in food safety in the past decades. One area we are very proud of is our hawker food. Singapore is known as a food heaven. We have a diverse range of affordable and delicious hawker food being sold in clean, modern hawker centres. However, this was not always the case. It took determined efforts by the government in the 1970s and over a period of 10 years to relocate street hawkers into purpose-built buildings which provided access to amenities such as clean water, electricity and drainage. These hawker centres have allowed our hawkers to operate rain or shine while maintaining good hygiene standards. Today, there are more than 110 hawker centres providing our people with safe and affordable food. A more recent example would be the formation of a central authority which is the Singapore Food Agency. It consolidates regulatory oversights from three different ministries. This allows us to holistically manage the food industry and the food safety from farm to fork in Singapore. Singapore and FAO enjoy a good relationship. Under our MOU, we have collaborated on initiatives to improve food safety and address antimicrobial resistance in the region. For example, we work together with FAO's Regional Office for Asia and the Pacific to develop an FAO tool to assess the capacities of countries to detect and monitor antimicrobial residues. FAO has also been active in rolling out food safety capability building programs. For example, we found the regional workshop on developing national food safety indicators useful and very important. We support the FAO's very important efforts to continue its good work in rolling out food-related programs for the benefit of the international community.